Restaurant channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal, which is called as Forum for uh, Linguistic Studies. So in this video, we will try to find out whether this journal is currently indexed in the uh, Scopus database, which quartile it falls under, whether this journal is indexed in the Web of Science database, AV Research World List, as well as UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journal list. So with regards to this particular journal, we have found uh, three different websites uh, for this journal. We will try to find out the genuine website, also the cloned or maybe the fake website. We will also try to find out the article processing charges for the genuine website as well as the cloned website which they are collecting through the back door. We will also try to find out in this video whether the articles published in the genuine website I mean all the articles published in the genuine website are really getting indexed in the Scopus database or not. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of Forum for Linguistic Studies. The review about this particular journal all starts out with this uh, particular email that we have uh, received in the spam folder just uh, four days back. So it shows uh, billpublishing.net, okay, within that they have created this particular email ID. So they are trying to advertise about this particular journal, Forum for Linguistic Studies, the ISSN online and print ISN number we can find over here. So they show that this journal is indexed by the Scopus database and also they have given the uh, communication editor information over here, Betty Liu, okay. I was thinking, okay, I received this message from a Scopus Index Journal, but uh, when you try to search in ResearchGate, we also have other people who have received the same message. They have been receiving dozens of messages from this particular journal, okay. So, from Betty Leo Communication Editor. So, many people have commented on this uh, particular message that has come in the spam folder. So, that is the reason we try to search for Forum for Linguistic Studies in the Google search. We have got uh, numerous search results, okay, so first search result comes from journals.billpubgroup.com Also, we have another one website, acad-pubs.com Also, we have another one website, fls.acads-pub.com We really don't know which is the exact uh, genuine website of this particular journal Before diving into these particular uh, websites, we will also go with another one website, ojs.acad-pub.com. So, here they have displayed uh, some information about this particular journal that actually the publication uh, transferred from FLS to Bilingual Publishing Group since volume 6, issue number 3 of 2024. Anyway, we will go with the first search result website, okay, journals.billpubgroup.com. Within that, they have displayed FLS, okay, so this is Forum for Linguistic Studies. Examples uh, they have given, like uh, the scope of this journal, phonology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, so all related to uh, linguistic studies you can find over here. When you browse through the peer review process, okay, so they have given uh, different uh, decision criteria, initial review, reviewer's assignment, uh, reviewer's submit reports, final decision, they have given some technical details over here. So, suppose if you have any technical queries, then you can contact to contact at the rate of billpublishing.com. About the article processing charges, they have clearly mentioned that it is $1,600. So, $1,600 approximately is equal to maybe 1,30,000 in Indian rupees. Okay, I really don't know why they are collecting too much charges for this uh, particular journal. When you go through the submission section, we can see that you have to create an account in order to uh, submit your article. So, please make sure that you have to submit your article with a proper uh, ORCID ID. So, wherever possible, include DOI, URL, okay. Then, the article should be accompanied with a cover letter, okay. So, they have given uh, the different types of articles that is to be accepted by this uh, particular journal. Okay, we can see the uh, technical requirements over here. In the editorial team section, we can see that the editor in chief is Professor Zhang Wen Yu, okay, who is uh, from the Beijing Language and Culture University, China. We also have advisory board members. The good thing is that they have displayed a link 
for each of the profiles that is actually uh, very uh, promising enough also we can find internationalism in the editorial board members when you go through the issues so the first issue comes from volume 1 of uh, 2019 so we can see that there is only one issue being published okay so here we can see uh, 2024 we can see five issues being published uh, we can see more of uh, internationalism in the published articles and please note that the total number of articles being published in 2024 is greater than 330. Again in uh, 2023, okay, volume 5 of 2023, when you total the uh, number of articles, it is approximately between 65 to 68. You might be wondering why am I uh, keen on the statistics of the published articles. I will tell you in the later part of the video now going into the second website this is acad-pubs.com okay so here uh, we can see same information like uh, they have displayed online issn number as well as print issn number over here please note uh, that uh, the articles are published in the latest issue that is current issue volume 6 issue number 2 of 2024 okay so we can see more of the indian author articles being published and there is not much internationalism maintained over here. Please try to note that the volume 6 issue number 2 of 2024 is different with that of the volume 6 issue number 2 2024 of the first search result website. Here they have given the contact email id to be editor.acadpubs at the rate of gmail.com. But with regards to the first search result website, they have displayed complete affiliation address with pin code with the telephone number. So it's a Singapore address. Okay, so even the institutional email ID has been mentioned for the principal contact as well as for the support contact. Also, the phone number is from Singapore. Again, reminding you that the articles published in the second search result website is different from that of the first website. In this particular website, we do not have uh, proper affiliation details, no uh, proper pin code, no uh, like Google map location or phone number. Nothing has been displayed. And the email ID is just a Gmail ID. Now let us dive into the third website, fls.acats-pub.com. So here they have displayed only one ISSN number, that is the online ISSN number. But the same subject area category, what we find in the first search result website, we can find over here. Please note that here with regards to the current issue, volume 6 issue number 2 of 2024, we can see entirely different set of articles. Again, there is not proper quality or technical details with regards to the published papers. For example, see over here, uh, distributed leadership view in schools, that's all. Okay. So, can it be imagined that uh, it is published in a Scopus Index journal? Also, we can see the published articles. We can see 20 page article, 30 page article being published over here. Please note that the published articles are entirely different with that of the first two websites. So, here also they have published uh, uh, from uh, 2019 till 2024 but with the first search result website we have only one issue but here with regards to this particular website we find two issues the special article section is found to be empty in the contact section again they have displayed a singapore address okay with the uh, email id okay so that is actually an email id associated with the acats-pub.com it is to be noted that not much of the details has been uh, found with regards to second search result website as well as the third search result website. So out of confusion, we decided to search for sciimagojr.com. Okay, so we search for forum for linguistic studies. We have got the exact search result. Country is Singapore. Okay, publisher, no information has been displayed. This is the first time I'm seeing like this. Okay, so it comes under the social sciences category. H index is just two. Okay, online ISSN number, print ISSN number, you can find over here. Coverage shows 2019 till 2023. You need not have to worry. We will cross check the information in the Scopus database. In the scope, here they have given information not localized, which means that they cannot verify the identity of this particular journal. Also, we can see there is no uh, particular link for home page or maybe how to publish in this journal or maybe email ID. Nothing has been found over here. So, in the quartiles, we can see education, it comes under Q4. And linguistics and language, it comes under Q3. So we can see the two year, three year, and five year statistics of this particular journal. Down in the comment section, many people have commented on the uh, authentic as well as the cloned or maybe the fake website. Okay. So here, one particular person has mentioned that the original website is the first search result website, and they have also mentioned a cloned website. Okay. So that is actually the third 
surgical website. Many people have commented on the uh, particular quartel also with regards to the genuine website. But uh, even Sai Imago Journal Brand cannot verify the authentic website of this particular journal. So we have not got the relevant information. So that is the reason we decided to go for Scopus.com. So in source is being selected. Uh, in the title, you search for this particular journal, you will be getting the search result. So here, cover is here, shows 2019 till 2024. Publisher is Bilingual Publishing Group. So that is the first search result website. Same online ISSN number and print ISSN number you can find over here. So here we do not have a view home page, okay, or maybe source home page, okay. But anyway, there are other ways to cross check as well. So in scope of content coverage in 2024, we find 130 documents, and in 2023, 74 documents. Please understand that with regards to first search result website, if we try to total the number of articles. Definitely, it is more than 130. Okay, and with 2023, here it shows 74 documents being indexed. But when we try to total the first search result website published documents, it is actually 65 till 68. But from 2019 till 2022, whatever we saw with the first search result website, I you know the total number of articles being published. It is exactly matching with the Scopus database. So we can say that from 2019 till 2022. The documents have been clear cut. Okay. But 2023 and 2024, I really don't know which is the genuine website of this particular journal. Because we do not have information anywhere. Maybe Scopus has misidentified the genuine website. Maybe they would have indexed articles from the uh, different website from uh, 2023 and 2024. I really don't know what is actually going on with this particular journal. But the site score rank and trend. Okay. So it comes uh, with the 55th percentage. So 0 to 25, 26 to 50, 51 to 75. So which means that it comes under Q2 quartile. So whatever information given in the Sai Imago journal rank is found to be incorrect. About how long will this journal remain in the scope of state or ways, I really don't know. Because it is uh, up to you, uh, my dear channel members, viewers, followers and subscribers. Please, uh, you know, try to report about this particular journal because we do not have a match in the total number of uh, published articles and the total number of articles indexed in the Scopus database. While there are several uh, sources claiming that the first uh, search result website is the actual uh, genuine website, but if you see 2024, there are too many articles being published, definitely they are greater than 130. Even though this journal comes in the Q2 quartile, but the H index is just 2 according to SciImagoJR.com. If you people will not report about this particular journal, definitely this journal will continue in the Scopus database for long. In the similar way, we decided to search for this particular journal name in a master journalist, youngjl.lyrewit.com. We have not got any relevant search result, which means that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database. Similarly, we decided to search for a uh, forum for linguistic studies in Australian Business Teams Council journal quartilist. We press enter. We have not got any relevant search result, which means that this journal is not indexed in the ABDC quality list. Similarly, we have UGC CAD website, ugccad.unipone.ac.in. We have group 1 and group 2. So, since this journal comes under the scope of source list, it automatically comes under UGC CAD group 2. However, there is a link called list of clone journals UGC CAD group 2. Here, we decided to search for forum for linguistic studies. We have got the exact search result. So this is actually the genuine website, journals.billpubgroup.com. That is the first search result website that is uh, being uh, published in English language. And here is the clone website, okay, acad-pubs.com, which is the second search result website. With regards to this particular journal, we have found uh, a genuine website, also the cloned or maybe the fake website. Now with regards to the genuine website or maybe the first uh, search result website, we find, you know, with the 2023 and 2024, there is mismatch between the total number of uh, published articles and the total number of uh, articles actually indexed by the Scopus database. We find internationalism in the uh, genuine website, but they are collecting a charge of $1,600 or approximately 1,30,000 in Indian rupees. And the time they take uh, for the publication is a maximum of 
three till four months. But with regards to cloned or maybe the fake website, that is the second search result website, as well as the third search result website, they are collecting more money. Maybe we believe it to be 25,000 till 30,000 in Indian rupees or a maximum of $400 just to make sure that these people will uh, submit their paper and they will try to publish it collecting a charge of a maximum of 30,000 in Indian rupees. And through the cloned or maybe fake website, we believe the acceptance to be given within days and they publish within a week. Please note that with regards to cloned as well as the fake website, we find too much of Indian author articles being published. Since this journal is currently in the scope of source list, it automatically comes under UGC care group 2. However, this journal is not indexed on the web of science database as well as ABDC quality list. I leave the decision to you, my dear channel members, viewers, followers and subscribers. If you really want to publish in the journal, align to the themes of uh, linguistic studies, maybe as an international journal, then you can publish in the first search result website. But if you are looking into indexing in the Scopus database, I am really not sure whether the articles being published in the first search result website really get indexed in the Scopus database. Also, it is your decision to report this particular journal or not. Because this journal currently comes in the Q2 quartile, but the information with the regards to the first search result website is not transparent enough. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, past or maybe negative experience, please share them in the comment section. I am sure you have benefited a lot out of this useful awareness video. So see you then in another interesting, genuine review of a Scopus Web of Science SCIE, ISI, ABDC, UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journalist as well. Till then, collaboration is everything.